Damn, TikTok is the platform to be on right now. You know TikTok's just Chinese malware to collect PII on Americans for cyber attack purposes, right? Well, yeah, everybody knows that, but they're hosting a gaming talent show with a $25,000 cash prize. Well, I'll be dipped in sauce. So national security and cybersecurity aside, TikTok is actually a phenomenal platform when it comes to growth, especially for gamers. As recently, some big names like Tim the Tatman and Nick Merckx have started porting a lot of their content over, basically shortening their YouTube videos into shorter compilations, and then bringing it over into short form video format for things like TikTok and YouTube Shorts. And that is a very good way for newer, smaller streamers to get started and to get discovered as generally shorts have better discoverability as classic long form videos. So I'll share my screen over here. I have an article pulled up. This will be be cited or sourced down there in the description below as I do anytime I cover any kind of news in the gaming community or industry. And this is actually pretty exciting stuff. So TikTok has teamed up with Enthusiast Gaming, which is the largest um, gaming media platform in North America, as well as Elf Cosmetics, who sure enough makes cosmetics, makeup. Um, maybe I should start using makeup. I could probably hide these tin sacks or these these dubs I got underneath my eyes here, ladies. You don't got to go to the street corner to see bags. You just look, look under AK-40 Kevin's eyes. And I sleep too. I get like a solid four to five and a half hours a night and still the bags. It's probably a hereditary thing. TikTok has partnered with Enthusiast Gaming, the largest multimedia platform in North America to launch TikTok Gamers Got Talent, premiering Sunday, May 9th at 2000 at 2021 in 2021 in or around the mouth of 2021 at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The content series will mark the inaugural search for the TikTok gaming community's hidden talents. And there is, like I mentioned in the intro, a lot, uh, a very large robust, if you will, gaming community on TikTok now. It's becoming um, a pretty major platform for gamers. Whether myself and you might like it or not, that's just the way things are, you know? Like personally, I'm, I'm not too fond of the platform of TikTok, um, generally because the content on there is just aimed at children. It's not very entertaining. It's not informative. It's not, it's not funny to me. A lot of it's just like really, really slapstick stuff. It's like, Vine was kind of like that too, but I guess, because I was younger, I don't know, maybe I just liked Vine more, but it just seems like the whole platform TikTok is like the equivalent of the bright flashy thumbnails on YouTube, but the, oh, Meta M4 knocking down the haters, like just kind of like appealing to a very, very young demographic. And that's not really the kind of content that me personally, that I resonate with. This exclusive seven week live series will follow contestants as they show off their diverse talents and compete in front of millions of fans for a chance to win $25,000. And of course, Elf products. So I don't know how excited people are going to be considering the majority of gamers and streamers are male. Um, but I am going to cover later on. They talk in this video about how they're actually um, trying to promote female gamers, which I think is absolutely fantastic. We need a lot of diversity in the gaming community. And there are a lot of female gamers and streamers. I personally know quite a few of them. But the fact still remains that the majority of casual gamers, competitive gamers, esports athletes, as well as live streamers are still male. You know, the hobby needs to kind of balance out a little bit because a wise man once said, too many burritos, not enough tacos, nobody makes any sour cream. I kind of like this little song. Crank that bad boy up just a couple of skoshes. Hopefully it doesn't overpower my voice or anything like that. From guitar riffs to trick shots to cooking and everything in between. So this event that they're hosting here, TikTok Gamers Got Talent, doesn't necessarily sound like it's specifically gaming. Guitar riffs, I was thinking, okay, cool, maybe a guitar hero tourney. Trick shots, I'm thinking, you know, I was thinking like, okay, like 360 no scopes, quick scopes, ankle buster, tomahawk throwing, flashbang bukkaking and whatnot. Um, but it seems like maybe like literally like some dude perfect style trick shots, which is cool and all, but this seems a little bit too broad to be a gamer centric event, in my opinion is an opportunity for gamers and gaming fans on TikTok to showcase their most impressive skills to a panel of celebrity judges. And then they talk about right here, the primary reason they partnered up with Elf Cosmetics is to try and get females involved in the um, the event. We can't wait to see some badass gamer girls unleash their amazing talents. I'm looking forward to it too. Hashtag gaming has over 1.5 billion views on TikTok globally. So the gaming sector or division of TikTok has 1.5 billion views. That is insane and basically solidifies my statement in the beginning of this video that TikTok is a very good platform if you are trying to get growth and get discovered as a new streamer, especially if you are a Twitch streamer. Compared to something like Facebook gaming, it's already a social media platform where you have your friends and family and whatnot, or YouTube that's actually has SEO or search engine optimization as it is a video searching uh, or a video 
archive platform hosted by Google, the largest search engine in the world, it's relatively easy to get discovered there. I'm not going to say easy because trust me, it's not. But um, in comparison to something like Twitch or Justin TV, as it used to be called, Amazon's live streaming platform, which, by the way, isn't really all about gaming anymore. Just chatting is by far the most popular section of Twitch every day. It's very hard to get discovered on that platform. So a lot of gamers, streamers, even the large, already well-discovered streamers that have a huge community, like I mentioned, Tim the Tatman and Nick Merckx, are starting to branch out because they don't want to hit a plateau. They want to keep growing. You know what I mean? Like, here's the ceiling and you just want to keep busting through it, basically. And then I had this sentence highlighted for a reason from overlaying music to using editing tools such as Stitch and Duet features. That is another thing is that if you are a new content creator, you're starting a YouTube channel or you're getting into streaming, Twitch and like Snapchat, Instagram stories, stuff like that makes it very easy just to record a quick video clip or take a photo and then edit it from your phone. You don't really have to have a, a wide, vast, broad knowledge of uh, video editing in something like Adobe Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve 17, which don't get me wrong, if you do plan on being a YouTuber or Twitch streamer in the long run and growing your production value and basically being able to market yourself and grow over time, you do want to have a general knowledge of video editing. Even if you plan on hiring an editor down the road, you should still have knowledge so you can communicate with them the vision of what you want your content to look like. Um, but in the meantime, if you are new, like just using something like TikTok, there is a pretty good editing suite where you can chop up your clips and put some effects on there and actually it makes it really easy. We all like something that's easy, you know what I mean? Sometimes we like a challenge. Sometimes we just we just want it given to us. We've had a long day. Just just give it up. Want to throw your controller in the ring? Does it have to be a controller? Can it be a keyboard and mouse? Get your content ready! Exclamation mark to enter. Create a TikTok showing your hidden talent using hashtag TikTok GGT. That sounds like a Japanese sports car. What do you drive, bro? Yeah, well, I saw you at the Cars and Coffee. You got that TikTok GGT twin turbo to up and upload it to gamersgottalent.com. Submissions are open to residents of the United States and Canada between April 27th. That was yesterday and May 2nd. So if you guys are interested in this event, start signing up now. If you are going to be signing up, please drop it in the comments section below. I'd love to check you guys out, especially if you are a subscriber, a member of the community here at Gamer Heaven, aka a stallion or stallionette. I definitely would like to support you guys as you guys really do support me and I greatly, greatly appreciate that. TikTok is the leading destination for short form mobile videos. So like I mentioned, YouTube Shorts is growing at an exponential rate. They're still very, um, they're still marginally behind TikTok. Uh, when it comes to short form video, I feel like the growth is there. Same thing with YouTube's live streaming platform. A lot of streamers are making the jump from Twitch over to YouTube gaming or a lot of new streamers are just starting. Or if you are a new content creator slash streamer, YouTube does make a lot of sense because you basically have three different forms of technically four different forms of content in under one umbrella on one platform where you can grow your community at the same time. You have your live streaming where you can receive things like super chats, super badges, um, stuff like that, donations. And then you also, of course, have your videos where you can receive like Google AdSense ads and sponsorships and stuff like that. And then you also have um, written posts like blog posts and the community posts, which is really cool. And then you also have um, YouTube shorts, which is like TikTok videos. So uh, that's personally why I think YouTube is a great platform because it's so diverse. Look at this ad. 10 times Pit Viper sunglasses got me laid. I don't think your sunglasses are getting you laid, bro. So this is pretty exciting stuff. I'm not a huge fan of the TikTok platform, like I mentioned, just because of some of its background and also the majority of the content that's on it. I just really just, ooh, it's, it's quite cringy. But uh, the fact that they do have a big gaming community over there, I have to like it to a certain degree. As somebody that has a gaming YouTube channel embedded, embossed in the gaming community and industry, um, it's important for me to appreciate the gaming community over there at the TikTok, which is growing uh, by the day. So it's awesome that they're hosting this event and hopefully they can get some female streamers out there to do their thing. Um, and hopefully a lot of people sign up for this thing because I think it'd be a, a knee slapping good time. If you guys enjoyed this video, liking it helps it to get seen by more people, which in turn helps me grow this little channel from a flaccid dinger to a big, thick, veiny, girthy rager, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover tons of news in the gaming community and industry, as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. A little kiss for you guys.